Said, it will run. Um, it doesn't like to idle though. Um, I have a sneaky feeling it's because the pilot jet on this type of carb is incredibly small, even the stock one. Um, this came with, I think it was a 33, the other carb had a 31 in it, they start at 30. Um, so it's such a small hole, you only have to get a tiny bit of dust or something like that in there. And it won't idle at all. Um, so at the moment of time, I think it's, it's essentially running on the main jet because I've got the um, idle speed up high enough for it to do that. But as soon as I back it off, it'll stall. Um, also, because it's drawing more air into it now, that pilot jet is just not sufficient enough um, to provide that enough fuel with the, the greater volume of air. Um, I've had problems with this type of carb on just stock scooters um, and they need up jetting because um, they just won't idle um, particularly the closer you get to sea level um, greater volume of air you need a greater volume of fuel so um, I'm not sure why they stick such a small jet in them but um, it can be a, a bit of a pain um, doesn't seem to affect the 125s much because they use a bigger jet but um, Certainly on the 50s, um, using this type of carb on a GUX engine, GUI 6 engine, they do seem to be a bit problematic. As you can see, I've also fitted a belt guard um, to protect my legs. This here is to fill up this section here with oil, so all the bearings. I'm using two strip oil. Because if a little bit slips past the bearing seals, it will get into the engine and be burnt up like it would normally in a two stroke bike, even though this is a four stroke. Um, it's not going to cause any running issues. Um, if anything, it may even help um, oil any little gap in between the um, impeller inside here and the, the back of this part here. So. It'll have a double benefit. Uh, just show you this. Once we figured out what the switch was, turned out the centre was the live feed. And the top was the earth, and the bottom was the uh, the feed to the clocks. Go. Um, tachometer and 
speedometer. Um, might have to change the gauge on this because it's just barely lifting the needle there. And this is a 15 pound per square inch gauge, um, just under a bar, and it really needs to be a much smaller scale because I think I'm just getting about one psi. So let's see if it'll start again. It does indeed move, it does make a very small amount of boost, so I um, just think I need to get some uh, different jets for the pilot jet and uh, go from there. Yeah. There we go, found abandoned in a wood, completely rebuilt, the new frame, we've got the engine, homemade supercharger, one-off wiring loom. Can't wait to find out how fast it goes. Should be a giggle. Thanks for watching.